One aspect of NTFS that really captured everyone's attention when NTFS was first introduced was this ability to provide NTFS disk quotas. So let's talk about those in this video, then I'll show you how to enable those in a separate video. Now for an administrator, maintaining available disk space can be quite a challenge, especially if you have quite a few users. It is amazing how fast available disk space gets eaten away and you always find yourself running out of disk space. Now, not to knock on the end users too much, but you know how we all are. We get a one terabyte drive and we think, we'll never use this up. Next thing you know, a couple of months later, we're frantically going through it trying to find out what we can throw away simply because just like our garage or our attic, we've stored way too much stuff than what we actually need. Now, the NTFS file system provides the ability to limit the amount of disk space each user can utilize. There's a couple of ways to do this. You can do it kind of uh, gently, or you can do it with a hammer. We'll talk about that in the configuration video. Now, disk quotas allow you to monitor and manage disk space. You can monitor the amount of disk space users are using, and you can control the amount of disk space they're using. Now we're going to monitor it by setting these limits on them and then just letting them know, hey, just by the way, I just want to let you know you're over your limit. And then we can come back and check with them later on and encourage them to create some space, to get rid of some junk. Now we can control the amount of disk space they're using by simply allowing the system to prevent them from having any more space. So once they use the space up, they can't save anything else. My experience with that in the real world is this is an opportunity to meet that person's vice president of the department or get a letter from them or whatever saying, hey, increase this person's disk space. And it usually happened. Now, disk quotas are configured on a per volume basis. Remember that for the exam. You don't just turn these things on for certain users, for power users, or anything like that. You enable disk quotas on a per volume basis. And once you do that, all users who store data on that volume are going to be affected. Now you can go in, once you've turned on disk quotas, you can go in and set exceptions for individual users. That's a neat aspect of this functionality Watch for that on the exam, and the answer is yes, I can do that. In the real world, the more you do this, the more you're shooting yourself in the foot, and the more it spreads around the office that you can set exceptions for individual users, the more requests and excuses you get, and you're right back to your disk space disappearing. But that's a personal comment, and so we'll just move on now. Watch for this on the exam as well. Anything stored in the recycle bin or anything placed in the recycle bin is included in calculating a disk space. And it is interesting to me to talk to end users who consider the recycle bin a place to store things. They don't really see it as erasing data or deleting data as a two-step process there, but they actually do use it kind of as a storage space for stuff they don't want but think they might need in the future. Now the disk quota functionality is made available by adding the file server role. And I'll just really quickly uh, jump out to the desktop. Uh, let's see, let me jump out to the desktop here and open server manager and just kind of give you a quick reminder of setting up these roles. So notice if I open server manager and I go to add roles and features, it's going to bring me up to this uh, Add Roles and Features Wizard. I'll just go Next, past that. We're going to do a role-based or feature-based installation. Yes, Next. This is my server. Next. And you'll notice that File and Storage Services has already been styled on this machine. And so I will just kind of expand that. And notice it has also installed some aspects of File and iSCSI services. And if I expand that, you will see there's File Server. It's already been installed, but I just wanted you to see it there. So I will close out the server manager, and then I will leave you in this video with one last thing to watch for on this exam. 
Disk quotas are disabled by default. If you want to use them, you have to go in and enable them, and that's what we're going to talk about in the next video, and that video will be entitled Enabling Disk Quotas. Now, if you haven't turned them on, they're not working, and if you do turn them on or if you do enable them, they're going to be working on a volume basis. Just remember those two things for the exam, and it will help you tremendously in working your way through the questions and answers.